it's a random episode where we talk about whatever we want. Yeah. It's been a while since we've seen each other. Yeah, exactly. It's been forever since we've seen each other. Um, and guys, because, we're not, and we're not even yeah. in the same room. And it's really dark where I am because of the lighting in here. <laughs> I'm looking at you via webcam, and it's so funny because your face is just like very hauntingly lit by like this any good dark lighting. blue light. But like, like it's funny because your walls are very nice, but like you are just very dark. It's just because my it's. I was gonna go into my basement, and then I just didn't mm-hmm. feel like it. So yeah. I'm, in my, I'm literally just like sitting in my room in like mm-hmm. a little corner because <laughs> i'm that way you're that you're that bitch i'm that bitch why am i a bitch that book better <laughs> hey own it what? oh there you go oh look I, I can see your nice face yeah but that's, that's so the nice. flashlight i don't really feel like almost like like no, no that doesn't even work it's uh, yeah this visual guy i guess means nothing because nobody can see what we're, we're talking about i know <laughs> but uh yeah Oh my goodness. But yeah, it's been forever since we've gotten together to like record a thing. And then right now, as we speak, hopefully by the time this episode goes up, I'll be on vacation so that we couldn't record again. Yeah, I'm going to um, be on vacation uh, soonish, probably in a few days. Nice. Where are you going? Uh, the beach. I don't know if I want to nice. tell people where I'm going. Yeah, don't, don't, don't do that. I just was curious. I'm going, to, yeah, just I'm just the, going to the beach. Just, just for me. Nice. Nice. Right. And you'll see where I'm going on Facebook because I'll post all about it like that obnoxious person. Like that obnoxious person. I'm like that. I I am that bitch. All That's right. Do you me. want to talk about stuff that is either controversial or not controversial depending on stuff? Uh, yeah, well, that's why we are gathered here today is to talk about. Even though we're so close yet stuff. so far away. <laughs> we're far enough away where we can talk about controversial stuff without hitting each other so this is we know we don't different. fight though like usually we have like unlike most people we have like reasonable arguments that we, resolve nicely yeah we, yeah we do we do resolve our our disagreements very nicely yeah uh but uh you know 2018 it's been a good year i think where like people that i don't love have not been destroyed yeah so, i mean yeah for the most part it's been pretty 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 all right i guess it hasn't been a total a total dumpster fire. Well, okay. So, what was the bigger dumpster fire, twenty sixteen or twenty seventeen? That's a. Uh, they were like a two parter. It was like twenty sixteen and twenty seventeen were like the Godfather Part One and Two, both Oscar winners in their terribleness. <laughs> so, like, so like it's hard to compare because they seem like just one complete kind of tale in in and of themselves. Yeah, and then 2018 hasn't really been the worst, worst. So, so 2018 is like the Godfather 3. <laughs> well, we say like, that, the one but like, really talks it's about. only like halfway through the year. Or like a, a little, little over halfway. It's like mm-hmm. September in like a week. What the hell's with that? Like I know. Oh, okay, so I was at the store today, and I saw Halloween candy out. Mm-hmm. Oh, no. I know. And like, I think my dad saw that a while ago, and he was just kind of like, that candy's going to go bad. Yeah, it's gonna get oh, stale. Because that's never gonna go bad. Well, nobody likes candy, candy corn. corn. Isn't it of self bad? No, actually, I love candy corn, but I know people don't like it. I think it tastes stale. But I will eat all the candy corn. You know what's weird? I don't like candy corn. But you know, like that pumpkin like shaped candy corn. I actually really yeah. like. Yeah, that was weird. But I don't like regular candy corn. Oh, that's interesting. I guess I'm weird like that. You know? Yeah, very weird. So that so that happened, but uh. <laughs> So that's, that's a thing. Yeah, so I'm trying to think if we want to actually... Because I've been, like, watching, con- not controversial stuff, but just, like, semi-hate-watching stuff. <laughs> Hate-watching's yeah. the worst. You get in a weird spiral. And I've been like, watching, I hate this, but I, You I can't know what I've been stop. watching that's, like, going to wow. probably get us into this? I've been watching a lot of, like, SJW-owned videos. <laughs> Oh no! But here's but here's the thing with like those like I think like I was like so like anti SGW for probably like f- ha- like six months I would say yeah and I've kind of like leveled out to be like look if you're not hurting anybody I don't really care exactly but uh but like these people in the videos were kind of idiots because like somebody would like have to ask them like ask them like a legitimate question and they would just be like fuck off and I'm like well that's not how you do it. No, that's that's just, well, that's not exactly an academic discussion, sir. I think it was like somebody I forget. It was like 
something on like rape rape culture saying like oh, okay. like somebody came mm-hmm. like saying like I don't think it's a culture of rape and they were just like like fuck you and I'm just like you're not helping. Yeah, seriously. Oh goodness. Because that's like what? like I have my beliefs and I don't mind if somebody disagrees with me and if they're smarter than me on the topic. Which mm-hmm. they probably are because I don't actually read into it that often, right? But I'm still just kind of like, hey guys, like let's just have like a nice debate, at least. Let's just have a a friendly discussion. Yes. Mm-hmm. Kaylin, your thoughts? Uh ooh, about hate watching or like that specific, like the. I guess, I guess, I guess, I mean, hate watching, I feel like it's something like everybody does it, it's like you do just for Yeah, some- I feel like it's, it's weird. I feel like with, with, uh, especially with like YouTube nowadays, I try to refrain from hate watching. I used to do it a lot like a few years ago, but like now I try to stay back because the thing is when you watch the video, you're, you're giving them money and you're like you know contributing to their revenue and i don't want to do that if especially if it's something that i really hate like or i really like dislike i try not to watch anymore because i know i'm gonna be contributing to like their overall views their overall you know ad Mm -hmm. revenue kind of thing so it's this very strange thing and and it i'm not gonna get political here but but it seemed but i've kind of read some things about how um this i'm not sure if it's alt-right or the right or like a certain kind of brand of that political mm-hmm. conservative genre of YouTube has garnered uh, a lot of more of a following recently, mm-hmm. I feel like, or it just, it's kind of grown as a subculture on YouTube. Uh, and it's weird because now people are like, oh man, they like, they're like making money and stuff. So it's just a very strange thing for people to, to profit off of it. Well, so kind of- watching has become like, you kind of have to, if you want to make a political statement, you kind of have to like stop engaging. And I think that's very interesting. I think you kind of have to, like, decide what you, like, consider is actually alt-right versus, like, Mm -hmm. what people actually say is alt-right. Because that can – or not – hold on. It's, like, if, like, somebody says, like, somebody's alt-right, but then you actually watch one of their videos and it's, like, they're not alt-right, guys. Like – Right. Because, like, for me, right. that that's, like, an extreme, kind of, like, how in, a, like, a super SJW is, like, an extreme, when mm-hmm. which I don't think there's actually that many of them. Right. But they are just the loudest. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, and, like... It, yeah, it's, it's, it is definitely... It's kind of a weird kind of, like, trying to establish that line. One, if it's, like, like, you know, the line between engaging in, like, I guess a thoughtful or, you know, a a perhaps controversial but not, like hearsay uh you know conversation and then when it becomes like very not good kind of damaging um dangerous rhetoric so that is kind of an interesting line to to think about also what helps me with hate watching is that i don't actually watch the actual video i watch like a response to the video of somebody like a response from somebody that i like so they need to give that person money Right. Yeah, that's always a good point. I mean, everybody and their mother's making reaction videos nowadays, <laughs> like us. Um, yeah, but we do it with so, television. Yeah, we do it with television. So, like, you uh, know, not controversial. Yeah, exactly. But, I mean, like, everyone is always reacting to something. We've kind of built up this, like, react culture, I guess. I don't really mm-hmm. know what we want to call it. Um, but, like, yeah, that's definitely built up recently and so like you can find anybody reacting to anything like it's so wild to see like this person reacting to this person who's reacting to this person who's reacting to this person it just keeps going it never stops reaction inception yes exactly (laughs) oh my goodness but uh but yeah so that's kind of my thoughts i didn't think i didn't think i was gonna have a lot to say on that but i just ended up saying a lot of words that wasn't even a topic i was thinking about i was just kind of like oh i'm like watching a bunch of like, like there's, like, a thing that says, like, STAW owned, and it's kind of, like, somebody bringing up, like, a fairly logical point about something. I, I can't think of them right now because it's been, a, like, it's been a bit of time, so. Right. Not a bit of time, like, a day, but still I forget. Mm-hmm. That kind of stuff, but, uh, yeah, I don't remember any of the topics. Like, I mean, you know, like, normal topics where people say, like, oh, this is an issue, and right. we're just, like, you know. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, no. Interesting. But yeah, this is a random episode, guys. We talk about literally anything and we don't even know what we're going to be talking about. Well, now we're talking about controversial. Some some people might say that we're like we like 
not as like either anti SJW or not. I feel like we're different on this kind of thing. Not like I don't think you're about, an SJ, like, I don't think you're an SJW in any way. What like a social like issues of social justice? Like, yeah, like, we I do don't... have very different views. I think it's because of like the type of like where we kind of spend the majority of our time on the internet. Like, mm-hmm. just kind of, like, the internet circles that we hang around, just we have very different views on the thing, and just because of, like, our different experiences, and, and we look at it from different perspectives. So, yeah, I'm always more more inclined to be, like, like, SHW gets, gets kind of used in a, in a weird kind of way, but, I mean, I do care about issues of social justice. Yeah, but you're not, um, like, a, you're I'm, not a bitch about it. No, well, yeah, I'm, no, I'm not, like, you know, a terrible rad femme type, uh, I ain't no turf, but, uh, um, yeah, so and I and I'll also I'm I feel like I'm just more inclined to just engage with political stuff than you are because you're just like heck this is dumb. And yeah. Like, ah. And you're probably like, I think you would call yourself a feminist, and I've honestly never, not even like since recently, I've never been comfortable with like calling myself a feminist. Okay, no, so I don't yeah, call I would, I would one. like easily call myself one. Yeah, yeah, I would be like, yeah, I'm a feminist. My thing with that, and I've, it's always been like this weird thing, but my thing is always has been with that has been mm-hmm. like the definition of feminism is equality between men and women, correct? Yeah. So then, why is the word feminine? Shouldn't it be an equal? Should not? It should neither be feminine nor masculine. It should be neither. Um. Well, uh, I think just in its in its history. I mean, the because no, I guess, it's I always get like. Like why it came up because of you know like you know I I like the I like that I get to vote, that's yeah, always that's exactly. nice. But I think that was now good that we got that. But I think now it's kind of an obscure, not obscure, but like not the correct term that we should be using. Mm, okay, yeah, I've heard that kind of uh, debate topic brought up, uh, and it's it's that kind of goes into there's a lot of different things where it's just like the evolution of language it's when do when are certain terms considered obsolete and when mm-hmm. do the terms evolve to be something else but we can still use them um so that's never something i have a, a good answer for but like me personally i'm still comfortable with the word like feminism and i still think it means um you know it's basic definition of, of you know equality between men and women um and because and feminism itself has evolved so much over time. So, yeah. But, like, and it's that, and it's both sides of the spectrum, too. Like, certain words, they're like, well, if you use this word, it means this by its textbook definition. But you're like, well, okay, but things evolve over time. So, um, it's always I'm, kind of interesting to see that. I remember you said, I compared it to communism, not in, like, the philosophy, but, like, in, like, the right. word. Which is uh, just, like, it. it means one thing, but over time, people have kind of, like destroyed the meaning of it right, right. That's, that's what a, i meant yeah, i did really i don't com- yeah guys feminism is not like communism <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna, a psa from your friends at witty clothes <laughs> i'm not a communist either i'm a can we just all get along and be happy and not hurt each other person <laughs> <laughs> amazing dare 2020 everyone no i don't i i would be a terrible president i just feel like man yeah. I would be. <laughs> I don't care enough. All right. All right I'll, well, then I'll run for president. Would you be my VP? The VP no, doesn't I'd do shit. No, I'd still be terrible at that. The VP doesn't do shit. Eh. But then you might get killed and then I'd, like, have to be president. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's true. That's true. That's uh, it's always a possibility. You never know when you're going <laughs> to get assassinated. Uh, mm-hmm. What else is on your mind, good friend? Uh, oh, I don't, I don't know. Like I said, we can't, we can't. kind of came into this. But blind. I texted you saying think of topics, so this is really your fault. <laughs> do you, do you think my brain functions normally? Like I have like, topics, I but like I'm trying think... to think of ways to just like, like segue, segue into them a bit better than just like, like make it more random. We're like, oh, we actually get onto this topic. Yeah, no, wait, this is a random episode. People are just gonna have to accept that we're just gonna throw whatever the heck we want out, and they're gonna have to listen to it. Um, tell them. You want to talk? You want to talk about people getting alleged for stuff? Because I, I know we've talked about it a little bit, but I think I've either like deleted the recording of it because like it was in a video, and I was figuring like, oh, we could actually do this in like a longer form kind of thing and actually fully delve into it. Oh yeah, well that kind of goes along with with what we started out talking That's true. about. Which I was have like, like fun, I have funner topics, but I kind of want to be serious for a bit because why not? Guys, let's let's bring it down. We're gonna talk about something serious. All right. Well, let's go into it. Let's get into it. Okay, pick let's one for stuff. 
You pick one. Uh, uh, um, what's what's our list here? What do I have to choose from? Pretty much anybody who's been like screwed over this year, or like has been alleged of something this year. Yeah, well, screwed over. I mean, some people probably genuinely, you know, deserved, you know, what they got coming. But other people, we we can debate. Uh, did they deserve what they got? Uh, I'm talking about James Gunn mostly because we've talked about this before last time we recorded it because that was like right when that was happening. Um, but yeah. Yeah, the, but like James we had Gunn the discussion thing. on like a video and I'm just like, I feel like we can do this in longer form so we can get yeah. into it because I'm just yeah, like, no, so I deleted it. Yeah, let's let's talk about that. So that's it, lo- it, very doesn't, it doesn't thing. look good for him getting rehired. Yeah, no, they, they, I think I just saw a thing where it's like very unlikely he will get rehired and I was like... I mean, I like the fact that, like, the cast is, like, sticking by him. Like, that whole, yeah. like, nice letter that they made. Right. Like, the only person, like, I think I, like, I didn't expect to, like, maybe stick up to, for him was Chris Pratt. And not nothing against Chris Pratt. It's just kind of, like, his views. I would, like, expect, like, him to, like, not forgive him. Like, I, again, I'm not bashing Chris Pratt or anything. Like, I know, like, he just kind of, like, he's fairly religious and, like, that kind of thing. Yeah. So and I he's, like, thought, yeah. He, He's, like, the religious guy who just kind of, like, I understand why he is, because, like, he kind of explained, like, he got back into religion after, like, there was a lot of complications with, like, the birth of his son, and I'm like, okay, and he's not a dick about it or, like, forcing it on anybody. Yeah. So that's why but, I like uh, it. Yeah, I, th- I think we should clarify here, though, exactly what the James Gunn thing, why, why we don't, like, why we're not, like don't support this shit. Because, like, all right, the stuff that he said on Twitter and stuff was stupid and dumb and terrible. And like, wasn't, I it wasn't that even out there. funny. Like, if it was at least, like, funny. No, it was give... supposed to be a joke, but it wasn't funny at it all. It wasn't a funny joke. But then it, that was, like, years ago, and he's grown over time. And that's my thing. Like, if you kind of acknowledge, if you say something stupid, I've said stuff that's stupid. I've done stuff that's stupid. <laughs> I've done so many things that are stupid, but the thing is, like, you acknowledge it, and either, like, you make fun of it, or, like, you grow as a person from that, which just sounds like right. that's happened with James Gunn. Yeah. Well, and it's interesting here, because, we, you know, it's, some people do things in the past that now, and you're like, oh, yeah, no, they should face, you know, some kinds of consequence for that. Um, and so... It's another thing where it's like, where do we draw the line of when you should face a consequence for a pre- for a past action and when you don't? The thing with the, I feel like the James Gunn thing was there's a couple different factors here. Uh, what we already agree, it's terrible stuff should not have been said. And if you and if it was like, how many years ago was this? Like eight years ago or something like that. If this was eight years ago, yeah, I probably should have faced something of that degree back then. That's. He wasn't that big. He wasn't that big though back then. There's probably nobody was like paying attention. Yeah, exactly. Um, but also, it's his, his words didn't really. Co- they weren't really actions. They were just words. So yeah. I feel like it's like you know, words are still words, and words have weight to them. But it wasn't like you know, it wasn't like he had physically or um, or like acted upon anything in the past. So it's like, eh. so it definitely you know. I feel like the the time, you know, gone by w- would affect things. Um, but also, like, the reasoning behind, like, why those comments came out, like, is very... Because he was bashing Donald Trump. ...important to the context. Yeah, right? Yeah, he was... Yeah, he was basically... He was bashing Trump, bashing, like, that whatever, that political cesspool of whatever. Um, and then somebody who was basically kind of like a, a right-wing kind of troll guy just went back and basically, you know got the receipts on him and it, the way the the comments came out wasn't somebody being like hey we should look into this guy because you know i these aren't good things he said it was basically just trying to get back at him and so you know it was done out of a place of revenge not out of you know a genuine whistleblowing so like that's really something that's important to to look at there yeah i think like that some people are kind of like defending him and then they people are trying to out them and then they ended up getting screwed over like Pat and oswald like so, I think he oh. was defending him. That somebody brought out a tweet of his that was offensive, and then they were like, somebody was like, "No, you took that. That was like half of a tweet. When like you had yeah. to separate tweets. Here's the other half, and it's actually fine." Yeah, yeah, and so and and it's another thing to look at. Like the people who are are coming to to James Gunn's defense are people who are you know have pretty have been kind of on the right side of things you know in the past. So it you know that's not it's not people who are supportive aren't people who are also kind of shady. Like it's like you know genuine good people so i know there's some circles of the internet that are just like you're just like 
cancel James Gunn, basically. Um, and I usually like to stand with, uh, you know, if a celebrity does something that's like messed up, I tend to like distance myself from them. Um, but with the James Gunn thing, I just think the whole situation was kind of shitty and they shouldn't have done what they did. I feel like it was a, it was a, a rush decision on Disney's part and they didn't do it for the right reasons. I just kind of feel like nowadays, like if a, if a celebrity is accused of something, then I'm just kind of like I f- like I do end up distancing myself because like you have that in your head, but then I'm mm-hmm. like I think you sh- I think if it's just an allegation, they shouldn't lose everything. I think you should investigate, yeah. like pause everything that they have, investigate it, and if something comes up, then they should lose everything. Or I mean, if there's like enough allegations, then like they should lose everything. But if it, like if not if they if somebody investigates it, and it turns out that either this person was just like scamming them, or like it's trying to ruin their career, then you know they shouldn't be, they shouldn't lose their career over that. Right. Right. Exactly. And then, but like, that's like kind of the world, like not the world that we're living in, but that's like kind of something that is sucking. Like once you're accused of something, you're done, mm-hmm. which is I don't think is right. Yeah, yeah, and it, it 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 is tricky too because it's always you want to, you know, you never want to write off a victim, you know, you never want to just like see a victim and be like, well, yeah, but this person's like super famous and you're not, so like write them off, and you never want to do that. So, um, and I think in this you environment, know, like they're not getting written off anymore. Yeah, no, it's gotten better, which is good, and so there is a balance between you know making those snap. Not snap judgments, but, you know, that balance between, like, real seriously looking into something. Um, there's a difference between, you know, dragging your feet on an issue because it's a celebrity and quick canceling them because somebody said one thing. There, You know, there's a balance to this. So I think, you know, we're still seeing that with, with some things. And, and I don't think it's ever going to be perfectly well balanced, uh, but it can be improved. So, but I think oh, yeah, for, for the, yeah, for the most part, you know, though, like, it's good that people are still coming forward with, with things because a lot of the time it's turning out to be, like, true or, or very damning stuff. Yeah. I mean, do you think that um, – the one thing I'm worried about with Guardians of Galaxy, do you think Dave Bautista is going to leave? Because, like, he's threatened that. Because he's got to be the most vocal. Uh, I don't well, – I think it's contract. I don't know. He's, he's probably so – Yeah. And that might be hard yeah, to, like, I mean. If he can leverage his stuff to, you know, get some kind of something going, you know, good for him. But I don't, I don't know. I think because, like, know, we, cause I, I'm not sure if he's as because he's a pretty vital role to the thing. But is he big enough for like he can single handedly tip the scale one way or another? I don't. Well, know. we kind of we may or may not have lost Gamora permanently. So, <laughs> oh goodness. So I mean, it might be. I'm kind of wondering if. I'm not saying this is going to happen, but, like, here's kind of, like, the dream thing where, because yeah. I feel, because, like, Marvel, you know, like, Disney said stuff. Marvel has, like, Kevin Feige, I don't think it said anything. He might have. Mm-hmm. I don't know. So, and, like, I feel like he's probably the type of guy, like, ugh, this is, this is, like, he's probably stressing out about this now. Mm-hmm. So I'm kind of, like, wondering if you might be thinking, like, go to Disney, like, hey, guys, like, I know you don't really want to rehire this guy, but, like. He didn't really do anything that bad, and he's kind of, like, a big part of this. So maybe can we, like, yeah. bring him on as, like, a producer? Mm-hmm. And then maybe can negotiate that, and that would work out. And then it'll be, like, a poltergeist situation where they hire a director. But actually, but it's kind of the thing of, like, yes, James Gunn is a producer, but he's really the director. Like, with poltergeist, like, Toby Hooper was the director. But then Steven Spielberg. Yeah, yeah. that's kind of how I'm seeing the situation end up, is he get, ends up coming back on, not as director, but as, like, a producer credit. Like, that's kind of what I'm seeing. But then, like, he probably does most of the work anyway and just goes, un- like, uncredited for that, which I'm fine with, I think. I mean, he I mean, he wrote the script, so oh, I for- can't do away with that. That's true. If so, you're, is the I script mean, done? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. He, I, I follow him on Instagram, so I saw when he, like, submitted the final thing. Oh, so then probably, if they just get an, I think if they just get a new director, it'll probably be fine. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I like, think, we, like, if, like, I think, like, for with the Marvel people, like, if we had to do this, like, I think... If there is, like, Marvel people, we said if, like, Taika Waititi took it over, it'd be, everything would be fine. Yeah, and I, I think that's what most cool people saying. That. They're just like, just give it to Taika. He'll do it. But, like, Hopefully. okay, so, but, like, if you could pick somebody, like, outside of Marvel, who would you pick? I don't know. I've never been. I have, like, such, like, a, a fake film fan because I just, like, don't follow directors heavily. So I'm just like, ah. Neither I do know, I. But, like, the only I know. person I could see, the only person I could see doing it was Taika, so. 
Yeah, but he, I'm trying to think of like they want to find somebody that may be like outside of Marvel, but I don't know anybody who's like that kind of mm-hmm. comedic high or yeah. like that kind of. Ah, oh, I can't even think of anybody. I don't know. Oh, you know, actually, I don't know if they would do this because of like their issues with Disney, but uh, Lord and Miller. Oh. Because they were supposed to remember, because their issues yeah. was like they were going to direct Solo and that whole debacle happened. Oh, uh, I would have loved to see a solo movie by Lord Miller. I really would have loved to see that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> kind of want to do like a separate thing, talking about like summer movies, and I can talk. Did you see Solo? I did not see Solo. Okay, because I saw Solo, and I can get into that. Okay. I would but, like to. I just haven't, because I was going to go see it with a friend, and then we just kept not seeing it. It, it happens. Oh, well, I think it'll be on DVD soon. Yeah, it's got to be out soon, right? Yeah, because Infinity War's out, and that came out after Infinity War, and Deadpool 2 just came out, so. Yeah. It's probably out soon. Have to watch that again. Yeah. Did you see Deadpool 2? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, you saw it before. Did you see it? No, did you see it before me? I think I saw it after you, but like a day after Uh you? I saw it like a, yeah, like later that week. Mm Mm-hmm. So anyway, because I and also I'm kind of wondering because like Marvel like hasn't really made any announcements about like Avengers four or, like what they're going afterwards, and mm-hmm. they weren't at Comic Con I don't think. Oh, were they not at Comic Con? Uh, I don't know. I don't think they were. Like a bunch of people didn't, weren't. Yeah, I didn't follow any of Marvel's Comic Con stuff, so I don't, I don't really think they were. Hold know. on. But I would say that like they're probably so they yeah they didn't even see any uh. Captain Marvel stuff. I'm so excited for Captain Marvel. I see it every single time. I just want to see Captain Marvel. This here, this when NBC News story says that they were absent of HBO and Marvel. So I guess they weren't there really. Or they might have been there a little bit, but I don't think they had like a panel. Yeah. Are they going to be at NY? That's what's, what? Are they going to be at New York Comic Con then? I was thinking D3. That big Disney convention. Oh. That makes oh, more yeah. sense. That makes much more yeah. sense. They announced phase three, I think, at D3. Okay. So that makes more sense to me. Yeah. Yeah. When's that? Uh, making me Google. Although apparently we can get tickets for next year and it doesn't look that bad, like money wise. Mm-hmm. It's like. Or if you get them now, it's not that bad. It's like. Uh, for a three-day ticket, early bird special for 2019, it's a uh, 107. Well, that okay. So right now it'd be like 177 dollars for a three-day ticket. Okay. And then it goes up to like a little over 200. Nice. Where is it? I think it's in California. Okay. You want to go to California next year? Yeah. Yeah. You know, why not? <laughs> Let's do it. You heard it here, folks. Can we go to Disneyland too? Damn, that shit's so expensive. But yeah, we can go. Oh no, that's for, when, oh never at. mind. That's for goal members. We should probably. Oh no, it's like oh, two hundred. It's like two hundred and fifty for okay. not a gold member. So maybe not. Uh, well, if we start saving now, we'll save our pennies. I would say we can join the gold like thing, but no thanks. Eh. So expo. I guess it already did it already. No, it's actually oh, it's tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> that's that oh, was wait, so good. Tomorrow? That was Hold such on. a good reveal. That was so that's so good. You're like oh, it's it says yeah, August twenty third, twenty eighteen to August twenty fifth. So I think it's yeah, I think it's actually tomorrow. Nice. So, so we'll probably be, that gives we, an indication of of what, when we're recording this. So by so by the time this uh, this episode comes out, D twenty three will happen, and we and you already know all of this information. Um, but because we need to know it, what's happening in like Marvel Phase Four and whatever the fuck is going on with Star Wars. Yeah, seriously. When when are we gonna? When are we just gonna get the name for the next Avengers film? Like, isn't it? Gonna we be still a, have a name for that. Isn't it gonna be Infinity Gauntlet? Which I don't get how that title works, but that's what I've been hearing. I think that's speculation, but there's no official name yet. Avengers Apocalypse. <laughs> it was re- originally going to be called Infinity War Part Two, but then they changed it to something because they that said it knows. could be like one movie. Which, like, if you sell Infinity War, it's technically not one movie. <laughs> I mean, it has an end to it, but it yeah, it's definitely not. It's a part an one. End to end. It is a part one. It really is. 
Which, like, I don't mind, but, like, it would be funny if they're just like, here's the title, it's Infinity War Part 2. <laughs> and they just <laughs> trolled us, which I will, like, that's just, if that's the case and they just trolled everybody, like, good uh, for you. It's terrible. No, that'd be terrible. That's hilarious. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, but no, it's probably got to be some kind of spoiler thing, right? Like, in <laughs> Avengers 4, another one bites the dust. But everybody's like seen title. it already. Yeah. No, <laughs> Seriously, have you seen what kind of movie that made? Like, who didn't see that movie? I think it's like, I thought it was going to actually beat Avatar as, like, the top movie of all time. But then I saw, like, Avatar made, like, $2.7 billion. Yeah. Avatar is crazy. Uh, that sequel so- did not deserve to me. I think that oh, sequel's yeah. still coming out in, like, two years. Yeah. It, it took literally 11 years to make a sequel to that movie. It's like a and nostalgia. apparently it's going to be a lot more. It's like a nostalgia thing. Like, you know, like how like like a movie comes out and then like 10, 20 years later, the next one comes out. It's yeah. literally that, except nobody's nostalgic about Avatar. Exactly, because it was not a memorable movie. Unless you saw it in theaters, it wasn't a memorable movie. I saw it in theaters. It's a very pretty movie. It, uh, like, visually, stunning film. Uh, the actual content of the movie was like... I like eh. some. I like some of the performances, and by some of the performances, I meant I really like Zoe Saldana. I was, gonna, <laughs> I was gonna say it's just Zoe Saldana. Uh, she she her. was good in that movie. She, I mean, she she was Zoe Saldana in that movie, which is to say, pretty good. Zoe Saldana's made some bad choices in movies. Well, they can't all be winners. That's true. She was in like that weird, uh, like that version of uh, like that remake of Guess Who's Coming to Dinner. Oh really? With uh, I I didn't know this is because I ended up watching it in a culture class that I took in college, and mm. um, we ended up watching the remake, and they kind of did the role reversal where the woman was black and the guy was white, mm-hmm. which I feel like I wasn't because like I've heard like some people say like that's kind of also like not okay because like you're you're okay with like showing that but not like a black man with a white woman, mm-hmm. but I don't think they did it to be offensive. I think they only did it because they really wanted Bernie Mac and Ashton Kutcher, so that's why they did. <laughs> <laughs> Which I'm like, all right, you're doing it for money. That's fine. Oh, good. Mm-hmm. And then she would play to, oh, my God, what's that singer's name? Like Nina something? Oh, yeah. Like who she just, she had no business playing at all. No. Yeah. I, well. Yeah, I remember that was, that was bad. My my philosophy when it comes to like a biopic is like unless the person's like look is like important to like who they are. Mm-hmm. I don't think look should matter. Like, I think look is, like, the least important thing. But I think with Nina, who I don't actually know much about, I think mm-hmm. her look was, like, important to, about, like, what, like, about, like, yeah. what she, because she was, like, a very, she was, like, really, like, a, like, a dark black woman. Yeah, she had, yeah, th- and that's, like, yeah, that's, like, important. And, like, so it's Aldana, although very, very pretty, is not a dark black woman. Right, exactly. So, like, you're, like, oh, yikes. I thought the movie wasn't good. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. It's I think that movie has like a what, like a three percent on Rotten Tomatoes or some shit like Hold that. Hold on. But either than that, I like Zoe Saldana. I think that for a while, like I didn't like her because she, I thought she came off as kind of pretentious, but I think she kind of mellowed out a bit. Mm-hmm. But that's just kind of me. Let me find out. Oh no, it's a it's a two percent. Oh, wow. Uh, a whole a wholly misguided tribute to its subject, searing talent, and enduring impact. Nina is the cinematic equivalent of a cover project featuring all the wrong artists. <laughs> so, you know, there's that. Because, right. you know, 2% is bad. Yeah, that's very bad. Not many movies get 2%. That's yeah, how I'm bad also, you have to be. I'm also kind of wondering, like, how they're, what they're going to talk about with, like, Star Wars. Because, like, okay, I can probably get passionate about, I get more passionate about, like, this kind of stuff than kind of, like, political or, like, social justice stuff. Right. I don't know why. But I do Just this. Because this is your passion. It is. And then people are going to get mm-hmm. mad at me for this. Also, they might get mad at me about another topic I want to discuss because I already have an opinion on that. Oh, okay, God. Please discuss so, like, your controversial The people opinions. who kind of confuse me the most. Yeah. Oh, wait. I heard a. Oh, okay. I think it's kind of like what I've heard about, like, this. Um, mm-hmm. com- like, I was hearing this on the History Chicks. They were talking about Marie Antoinette. Oh, okay. And they said with um, the French Revolution, like, like, these people were, like, they had, like, some people were saying, like, okay, kill the queen. And the people were like, no, 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 we love the queen. And, like, that kind of thing. And then the one woman was just kind of like, because these people are crazy and they don't know what they want. Mm-hmm. That's how they feel about Star Wars fans. 
They yeah. don't know what they want. And I'm so confused. And I don't, I'm just like. They don't like, know what they want, but they want to kill something. That's Star Wars. Like, everybody, is. like, like all I hear mainly is just, like, hate for The Last Jedi. And I'm like, did anybody, like, not really watch the movie? Like, it's there's problems. But it's not a bad movie. Mm-hmm. Like, I think I was, I was watching Chris Reagan and he did, like, the thing, what is it, like, Hot Topic or Hot Shot or whatever the fuck that hashtag is. Oh, uh, Where, hot like, take? hot take, yeah. And I was, mm-hmm. like, trying to look up stuff, then we could discuss it, but, like, I couldn't find that many. Mm-hmm. Maybe, like, I'm going to look up the hashtag a bit, but, like, somebody's saying, like, how does a hot take, Star Wars The Last Jedi wasn't that bad of a movie. And I'm like, no, it wasn't. Oh, I agree with you. We had a whole like we have an hour long review of that movie up on our channel, uh, which you guys should see. Good, go look at by the way. Yeah, it's it's Um, like and besides like we we talked pretty high about that movie. Yeah, besides the stuff about like like Finn, which I don't think is like horrible. I think it's just kind of mediocre. Yeah, everything else. eh. But like, why was like eh? But like, what are people saying about like what were people saying that was? I'm trying to remember what people saying there that was bad about it. Like the fact that they changed like the Jedi rules. Like, they weren't changed before. It was just some BS fanboy nonsense. Like, that's, they that's changed, the thing. But then they changed, I think they changed, like, did they change, I don't remember, I don't, I'm not that into Star Wars that I don't know the the Jedi rules. Right, because, cause, well, I mean, those movies, like, they're movies that are also meant to be enjoyed by people who aren't, like, rabid fans, so, like, yeah. So, like, you don't have to be a crazy, you know, fanboy to, to understand them. Now, like, now, I understand, like, being very involved in, like, lore and, and fandom and stuff, because I am also one of those folks with, with other various things. Um, but, like, it's it's such an interesting phenomena where uh, Star Wars went, like, 30 years without movies. So it became, like, this thing, this subculture that people built up a lot and then had a lot of expectations for. And, and when you spend so long, like, with that, building up all those expectations, of course they're not going to be met. <laughs> Like, of course. So, you know, and then, you know, plus another decade between the prequels and the, and the sequels. Um, yeah, it's just like, you're not gonna, like, there's a lot of things that, like, there's a really good chance that it's not gonna go right. Now, like I said, Star Wars, um, you know, the, the newest Star Wars, not a flawless movie. It definitely had its flaws, but it had some also some really incredible moments as well. Um, so like, yeah, it's not a movie that's not undeserving of criticism, but people get a little too passionate about it. And I, like I said, like there was the flaw, the stuff that was like flawed, I admit it was flawed and it was, but I just found it kind of mediocre, but the stuff that was like right. really good was really good. Yeah. And I liked all the stuff that they changed about, like, and I don't, did they change anything about the Jedi? I need somebody to explain this to me. Okay, I'm not that person, because... Yeah, I know. Because my Star Wars lore is pretty... I... Like, it felt like they just kind of gave them, like, more power, but then somebody explained to me, like, well, the Force, like, grows, like, gets more powerful as time goes on, so that made sense to me, and I'm like, okay, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Like, I think that's a big thing, like, how come Ray has all this power? And I'm like, because it's been 30 years. Yeah. Yeah. But, like... Or, like, how did Leia, like, fly through space? And I'm like, because she has, like, Jedi in her, and it's been 30 years. Exactly. Exactly. Ah. Also, it's Carrie Fisher. And it's Princess... It's Leia. Who cares? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, it's just like... uh, It's such like a... It's... Star Wars isn't the only toxic fandom out there. There's a lot of them. uh, And all are deserving of their own criticisms. But it's just... uh, It's just one of those things where it's like... People need to chill. That's my official prognosis. People didn't. I think I just, like said that to somebody. Like Star Wars fans confused me because like it's, they seem like every time a new Star Wars movie comes out, they say it sucks. And they were like, yeah, they were saying that with like when the Phantom Menace came out. They were saying that when, when, when blah 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 when Return of the Jedi came out. Yeah, yeah. They were saying that when Empire Strikes Back came out, and now that's considered a classic. It's a good movie. But I, yeah, it's it's one of those things like you can't please everyone. It feels like so. this movie has pleased like nobody. Oh, I got the lighting better. Oh, hey. Hey, girl. Uh, I can actually see your face. Mm. Um, so that's yeah. my controversial thing. Star Wars fans are confusing, and they don't know what they want, I mm-hmm. think. I think there are some logical ones, but they don't know what they want. And, like, I don't I, can't, I don't even remember some of the criticisms from the last movie. Mm-hmm. 
But I think like audience score wise for um, Rotten Tomatoes was like very vast. Mm -hmm. Let me look. Yeah. Oh yeah. The, it, yeah. It was a it was a big difference. It was like something like like eighty nine to like fifty five or something. Uh, ninety two to forty ninety one to forty six. Forty six. That's even worse. That's such a weird, such a weird number difference. Which is funny because I know people who like really love that movie, and also people who don't. So. Also, I I saw one review and it was like two and a half stars, and they said that they disliked the Force Awakens. I feel like if you dislike the Force Awakens, you're not gonna like the Last Jedi. Right? Yeah. Well, it's a continuation. That's like, <laughs> and also if you want to, if you dislike the Force Awakens, go rate the Force Awakens and not, you know, the Last Jedi. Yeah. Okay. Now I'm reading like, <laughs> I found like audience reviews, and like I don't, th I don't like if you say that this one's the worst, you're just wrong. Yeah. The How can you say it's the worst when Phantom Menace exists? Exactly, Phantom Menace exists. Uh, and I guess more people upset that the, like Luke became like less hopeful, which I know you would have complained about. And my thing is just kind of like something bad happened, and it's yeah. been a ton of years. Yeah, stuff I, can I change. Did, I, yeah, I didn't have criticism of that, and I won't get into that again because, like I said, uh, we have a whole review on that. So if you like what we're saying here, uh, we can link it down below. Go watch it. Yeah, exactly. We'll link it in the description. Um, but like, yeah, so I won't, I won't go into any more of that movie just cause like we did a whole review and, and you heard my thoughts there. Um, but yeah, so like, I I that's not above criticism. I think I was upset about that too, but I feel like they explained it pretty well. And I thought that Kylo Ren became a much better villain. Yeah, I agree with that. Oh dude, I've been watching like not, I don't mean to do this, but like, you know how like sometimes like people will like make like fan videos of like a project, like of a movie or like a show and then they put yeah. into a song. So I do the one I'm working out just so I can listen to the song. <laughs> and I've yeah. been seeing a lot of like I've been like doing it with like not like romantic songs but like semi romantic songs and it's been with like Kylo Ren and Ray. Ah uh, no, I hate that ship. I don't. It's bad ship. I agree. I don't like any of the ships. Well, no, I don't really enjoy any of the ships in the Star Wars franchise. Not Star <laughs> Wars franchise. Uh, the newer one. Yeah. Because I I don't really want anybody to be romantically involved with anybody. Mm hmm. That's my take, but, like, they did one for uh, Rewrite the Stars from The Greatest Showman, which, like, a oh, song okay. with Zac Efron, which is, a, I think it's a nice song. I've been, okay, so I've worked at a summer camp all summer. I've been hearing a lot of The Greatest Showman. Oh, yeah. All summer. That and Those... Fortnite dances. So I know uh -huh. I, I have an expert in that now. Can I made you floss? It... Dude, I could make, like, a movie about flossing with the footage that I got of kids <laughs> just coming up to the camera and flossing. <laughs> I love it. Uh, I have so much of that. I had so much of that when I worked there. Also, like, there's, like, that weird one where, like, the guys, like, grab their nuts and then, like, put, like, an L to their forehead. I don't remember the name of it. Oh, I don't know that one. I don't like the sound of that. I can't keep up with all these kids' trends. There's that, and then there's, like, uh, you, like, go like that, and then you, like, you shake your knee or, like, one of your legs. Oh, yeah, I know that one. I know that one. I think there's, like, the Carlton is in there. Kayla's trying to do the Carlton. And then I, I'm succeeding. I look great. There's a bunch of other ones. My sister's boyfriend tried to show, show that me a video, but it didn't. I'm just like, I don't care. <laughs> it's crazy kids in there. So Fortnite's. I saw a lot of that with. Um, so I saw I watched a video with Kylo Ren and Ray to that song. Mm -hmm. And they said like parallels and they were like saying like people like who, did, who hated each other first or may have been like a good guy versus a bad guy. And then they ended up falling in love. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, oh, this, but like and some of them were kind of like like they did end up together in the end because that was kind of the point and then one of them was like Zuko and Katara which is also a ship that I don't approve of oh man but uh you you weren't there for the Avatar ship wars of the early 2000s but why do they tell why you, do they work why did tell me how they work people just really like that ship it but how was, do they work uh, as a couple because they're like opposites attract and he's like he's like fire and she's like water so it's steamy no, but they, but like, like personality wise, mm -hmm. how are they similar? Opposites attract. And like, yeah. Zuko's, I feel like, way, I know that Katara's damaged, but Zuko's like way more damaged. <laughs> but that's, also it's like, their he brings also them together. Like, like, I get the whole opposite attract thing, but like, it's kind of, I hate, I, but like, Zuko's like way too broody for Katara. Mm -hmm. Katara Katara's like, and, and like Zuko, Zuko's is kind of like I love Zuko, but he's kind of just like a broody goth kid. 
And Katara <laughs> could do way better. Mm-hmm. In fact, I think Aang is kind of way better. Because mm-hmm. at least he has Ooh, hope in life. Him. Oh, man. We're going to lose so many subscribers because... We're we're jumping off. Ships what that I that here. I approve of the ship that's in the show. All all of these all of these controversial opinions coming out today. <laughs> I just don't approve of Zuko and Guitar. That's it. Yeah, no, I, I never liked that ship. I don't like but, it. Uh, I know, but that was the ship. I think every other ship I kind of approve of in that whole franchise. Mm-hmm. I don't know any. I don't know any of the other ones though. Besides, like the ones that are canon. Right. Like I approve of Korosami. Yeah. I don't really approve of... Do, did Cora Mako have a name? Makora. That's not even Ma. that good. Cora. Yeah. <laughs> like, if you can't think of a good one, you have a problem. <laughs> Your ship name sucks, so you should feel bad. That's funny. Like, what was... But, like, oh yeah, was like, 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 like Bopal. Bopal's a good name. So they it's work. Cute. It was cute, yeah. Yeah. So... Were we talking about Star Wars? <laughs> we were talking about Star Wars. I know, I was talking about, 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 about that video. But, like, we like watching that, and I'm kind of like, I, do, I still don't approve of the Kylo Ren Ray ship kind of thing. Mm-hmm. But, like, if they could just become, like, buddies, which I don't think is going to happen, <laughs> I'm kind of okay with that. Yeah, I think he's off the deep end at this point. But I kind of like that. That's different. Like, why? Yeah, it's like, no, what's that's wrong? Good. Like, th- I think that's the thing. Like, people are mad at something being different or not what they expected. But I'm like, I kind of like mm-hmm. that. Right. Like, that's more fun. It's more fun. No, to, I agree. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's more fun to, like, watch something at, or, like, watch a trailer and expect one thing and then something different happens. Mm-hmm. Like, nobody got mad at Infinity, at Infinity War for that, although it kind of did what we expected. They just, you know, showed everything. Mm-hmm. Oh, dude, have you seen... Okay, I'm, I'll say this now. Have you seen, like, the... Like, uh, I've seen the commercials for the, the the DVD coming out or, like, the Blu-ray and all that crap. Yeah. Have you seen any of those? <sighs> like, on, like, one. YouTube? Like, on YouTube? No, not on YouTube. Okay, so, like, they have, like, the... It's, like, really mean. Oh, no. What they the have, video? like, the Marvel 10 Studio thing. Yeah. And then it just... Dis- and then it just evaporates away. Like, the... Oh, like, that's no. so mean. Oh. That's so mean. That's so mean. Wow. Isn't that mean? That's just like. That's rude. That's isn't it? That's rude. Yeah. Like some people still aren't over that. I'm kind no. of over it except for, you know, Spider-Man, but that's because I was just sad. I'll be over it until I watch that movie in full again. And then I just. <laughs> and it'll just all come back to me. But, you know, like my like I'm not over, but I'm like, well, Spider-Man's already getting a sequel. <laughs> yeah. I know. That, well, what's that called? Far from home, Spider-Man. Far from home. Is that what it is? I think that's what it's called. That's what I heard it's called. But Does that mean I he's not going to be on Earth, and Aunt, and Aunt May is going to be very upset. Yeah, yeah, it is called Spider-Man: Far from Home. So I'm guessing he's not going to be in New York. But that's right. also coming out like right after the la- the next Avengers movie, like a couple months later, right? Yeah. Which I'm like, uh, kind of. I wish July fifth, twenty nineteen. I, I mean, hopefully that might be, like, a good, like, bridge movie between, like, what's going to, like, ending Phase 3 and, like, what's going to happen in Phase 4 or whatever. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But, like, I kind of wish that, like, Marvel would just, like, take a year off and then just, like, really focus in on, like, okay, here's what we're going to do there for, for the rest of the time. Yeah. I don't think they're not going to do that, though. No. But how many Marvel movies are coming out in 2019? There, I think it's just the three. Yeah? Yeah. They've only been yeah. doing three movies a year since uh, last year. Yeah. Like, usually it's two. Last mm-hmm. year they did three. This year they did three. Next year they're doing three. Okay. God, they got to calm down. Calm down, Marvel. I mean, three movies... I guess, like, three movies a year kind of is a lot, but, like, I think the That's big problem lot. is... I think the problem is that, like, they're not spreading it out. Like, when they did two movies, it was pretty spread out. Like, mm-hmm. like one movie in the summer, and then either, like, one movie, like, later on in the summer, or one movie in November. Mm-hmm. And this year it's, like, kind of... Although, granted... Uh, the le- the last movie for this year just came out, and then we're not gonna get another one till March. Mm-hmm. So that's a little bit of time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we I know the topics talking. that I want to talk about, but they're kind of get more depressing and stuff. Well, I think we've almost been going on an hour, so that's usually where we where we call it. Are we going on? We got fifty three minutes. I still have like several other things that I wanted to talk about. Oh my god! I think that's the thing that happened though with the random thing that like, we had a topic, and then we just got into more topics. 
We always do this. We always start with one thing and end up somewhere completely different. Well, I want to talk about somebody else because we might have more opinion on it, like similar to, not similar to the James Gunn thing and like not similar at all, but like somebody else I wanted to talk about. Okay. Yeah. Well, let's, let's, let's do it. Let's. I wanted to kind of talk about Chris Hardwick. Oh, uh, I knew you were going to say that. Well, because uh. the thing is like he, he got his job back on AMC. Oh yeah. I saw that. Because there was that whole thing. Mm-hmm. Where like other evidence came out like against Chloe, not I guess kind of against Chloe. Mm-hmm. Okay. Like text messages came out where he like like he broke up with her, saying like mm-hmm. this is a bad relationship we need to break up, and she was kind of like no 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 or like I think like he found out about the cheating thing. Okay, was that kind of bothered me in the letter when like she was like yeah I cheated on him and I'm like oh, you cheated you're willing to cheat on him but you weren't weren't willing to break up with him again I don't well, know the mindset I don't know the mindset that's different yeah if you're in a un stable like unsteady unstable like bad mental place like very different things very different things. that's kind of what i that's what i kind of feel about like this relationship for, like the letter and the other information that came out and the fact that like amc did suspend chris hardwick and then did an investigation and then apparently chloe dykstra like was not a part of the um conversation like wasn't a part of the investigation and didn't want to be part of the investigation which is why they were okay. like okay well then we don't have anything really yeah and it wasn't like, and I think like some producers were like upset, so they quit in mm-hmm. protest because they're like, well, like she, she wasn't involved in the investigation. I'm like, she didn't want to be involved, mm. which is I don't know if that's like fishy or anything. It's not great. Yeah, well, yeah I'm not sure if fishy. Maybe it was the way they're conducting it or who was conducting it. No, no, she, there's no, no, a no, lot. She came out know. and said, I did not want to ruin his career. I'm not being involved in this investigation. She, she okay. said it. That's okay. my thing. So like they did, they I think they went to her and she was like, I don't want to be involved. Okay, well. So, like, here's my take on that whole thing. Mm-hmm. I kind of think it was mainly just, like, two people who should not have been in a relationship at that time because they were both in very, very bad mental places. Yeah. Being in a relationship. Okay. Because he had, like, a lot of people defend, like, all of his ex-girlfriends, like, defended him. Not okay. all of his ex, but, like, his main ones. Mm-hmm. So, and saying, like, I've never dealt with this. And I'm like, I know that doesn't really mean anything because, like, you can... Like, be okay with, like... Like, I think the same thing happened with, like, Johnny Depp. Like, most of his exes were defending him. Yeah. But, like, that doesn't really mean anything. I don't think that means, like, much, but I think it kind of, like, you know, helps that person a little yeah, bit. Yeah, well, but there's... But then there's also people coming out and saying, like, oh, yeah, this guy's a dick. That doesn't mean so, you're... That like, doesn't mean you're, like, a abusive assaulter guy. It just means you're a well, dick. Well, I mean... Eh. Um, like, I know a bunch of guys who are, I'm not a bunch of guys, like, a bunch of people who are, I, I think are, like, guys and girls who are kind of assholes, but, like, I've never heard anything bad, like, I've never heard anything bad about them, just, like, in, like, the workplace, they're just, you know, kind yeah. of dicks. I mean, I say dick is a generalized term, they didn't say that specifically, I mean, they had examples that would have contributed, you know, to the, to, to you know, the stories that were being told, um, but, like, yeah, I mean, there's people on both sides coming out and saying, like, oh, like it's you know it's one way or it's the other so you know there was you know it wasn't all a one-sided for pro or con kind of thing yeah i think that i like what i mean i i actually unlike some like a lot of stuff i actually read all of like full of chloe's letter and like i was like yeah this is kind of not good stuff like there was a couple things that like i kind of questioned she had a problem with Okay. Like the one thing, I think the one Rick rule that I was like, why do you, I think that's a fine rule was like that he said, like, can you not, like, can you not drink in front of me? Cause I'm an ex alcoholic and I don't have to, you know, worry about that. Yeah. I think that's an okay thing to ask somebody, honestly. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like that's kind of like, I, like with my dad and like people drink in front of him. I don't like to because I don't think it's, pol- I just don't think it's polite, honestly. Right. Unless that yeah. person says it's okay. Mm hmm. So I kind of was like upset that she had a problem with that. Right. And then the one thing I'm curious about, because, like, he said, uh, she was like, oh, like, he kind of, like, blacklisted me or, like, I couldn't get a job. Yeah. But I remember what was weird is that, like, I saw her in other stuff after they broke up. Well. Like, she was on, like, a, well, she was on, like, a cosplaying show on a, the Sci-Fi Network. Oh, okay, yeah. And then she was on SourceFed. Mm-hmm. I'm not saying she's wrong. Well, I'm saying, like, that's interesting. Well, I mean, like, you know, blacklisted, you know, I mean, it doesn't mean you know, barred from everything and anything, but Mm -hmm. just enough stuff, so. Yeah, and again, like, I'm not, like, saying, like, she was in the wrong and, like, wanted to, like, destroy this guy's career. I don't think that at all. I kind of just think there's, I think there is probably a middle ground, which is just to 
people not in a great mental state getting into a relationship with each other and it not being a great relationship. Mm-hmm. That's kind of mm-hmm. what I think it. I kind of that's what I kind of think it was overall. Okay, that's my opinion. Do you have do you have any more thoughts? I mean, uh, this, um, I mean, there's stuff that's like there's some stuff that I think would definitely point to that. Just like you know, people, but like there's other there's other stuff that was like it's shitty enough where things certain things become like inexcusable regardless of the context. So. Yeah, I guess I'm kind yeah. of okay with, like, nowadays, like, hearing that somebody is just kind of maybe not great to, like, work with. I mean, I wouldn't want to work with them, but, like, that doesn't mean they're not a good person. Just kind of means, like, in certain, like, work situations, they yeah. might not be great to work with. I remember, what was it, Philip DeFranco, he has said that, like, he's, like, for the most, he's a really nice guy and everybody's always said, like, nice stuff about him. Mm-hmm. But he's kind of said he's not that great to work with because he kind of gets, like, intense about stuff. Okay. It can be kind of a dick, and like, but he's always honest about that kind of thing. So I'm like, I think that's fair if you're honest about it, at least. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I think it's all of her thoughts. Yeah. That was kind of a mess. That was a hot mess. But you know, he's but got it. He's it, got his, it was, you know, career back. I guess some people. He got his AMC stuff back. Yeah. So. What do you think, to be fair, I think AMC did the right thing, which is to, like, suspending and investigating. I think that's how you should handle it. That, yeah, that is the process that should happen with things like that. You know, suspension and then investigation. So. Yeah, and also, like, I think the thing is, like, people are going to probably, like, want more more of an investigation if it's just the one person saying something. Mm -hmm. Because kind of, like, you can debunk that. If it's, like, like, with everything that happened last year, there was, like, you know like tens of people tens of people saying stuff about people right which is harder yeah. to dispute right exactly yeah uh i think i had a couple other topics but they're kind of funner topics so that's fun oh yay all right so no i asked you the question because so so remember Lindsay ellis's review about beauty and the beast yes so i watched I- it and I yeah. was kind of like, I was thinking, like, Lynn, you need to calm down. But I think it's because, like, she got so mad about this movie that, like, nowadays yeah. I'm just kind of indifferent to. Yeah, she got as mad as I do about that movie. Because, so, like, the whole time, like, during that review, I was like, yes. Yes. I feel the There's same some way. stuff that I think in that God. review that, like, was brought up. I, one, I didn't even know it was a complaint. Two, it was, like... Like from other people was a complaint, and two was just I thought like there were, like the smaller ones I think were kind like were kind of dumb like the whole thing with like why do you need to explain why these like uh, people can talk or like acknowledge or that the in the inanimate object objects can talk okay and like that kind of, I don't remember exactly what you said and like why you need to acknowledge it mm-hmm. but they barely acknowledge in the movie she's just like I'm talking to a candle and then he's like candelabra and then I think that was kind of it I haven't actually watched the movie. But, like, I don't think that's bad. I think that's just kind of, like, who wouldn't say that in a situation? Well, it's not – it wasn't that line specifically. It's it's in the whole movie. It was it was very, like – the movie felt this incessant need to explain everything to you. Because, you know, when you go into to a movie like that, like a fantasy tale, there's always, you know, that willing suspension of disbelief. You don't need everything to be grounded and explained through one thing or another. You don't have to, like, go into the nitty-gritty details. And I think that was kind of the point – in that um i mean i know i agree yeah but like so yeah because the movie was like well like oh but like we never actually explained like why the people in the town didn't remember and it's like you don't have to it's all right it was magic we just accept that it's magic and we move on we don't have to explain it so the only time i've ever seen that was like in a cracked video but like that's the point of cracked yeah exactly exactly and and it's one of those things where i feel like Movies these days feel this very strong urge when they're retelling a story to like explain things to, you know, they're like, well, you got to watch that willing suspension of disbelief because, you know, do people really have it? Like we have to, you know, this guy is flying, but why is he flying? We have to go into like the details of that. And it's like, you don't, I'm just here to enjoy movie. I think they feel, all right. I think like movies nowadays, they feel the need to please everybody to make the most money. Yeah, but like you don't need to please everybody, and if it's a good movie, like nowadays, I think the fact of the matter is, if it's a really good movie, you're gonna make your budget back, and you're probably gonna mm-hmm. make money off of it. Mm-hmm. That wasn't my point of the topic, though. <laughs> yeah, sorry, but that I, was my I thing. Like I was just kind of like, I like her motto though. Thanks, I hate it. That's good. 
Thanks. I hate it. So I, I was thinking, because like, I'm really indifferent to that movie. So I was kind of like, why is people getting so mad about it? But I was thinking, are there any movies out there that like people really seem to like or even <laughs> love that I that just pisses me off? And no matter how many times they explain it, people say, get over it. So mm-hmm. I asked you the question, Kaylin. So you go first. I was thinking about this, and this is really hard. Like, I this is a hard one to think about off the top of my head because I couldn't think. I gave uh, you the question like three that, hours ago. I I know it was even was more than that. It was like seven hours ago, and I still yeah. have no idea what the answer to this is. Um, I was I thought I of a couple, and then I f- f- narrowed it down to one, so we're good with me. Is it bad that the only thing I could think of was Despicable Me? <laughs> oh, you don't like that movie. I it's not that I don't like it. It's like so like it. and people are like, oh my god, it's so cute. The little girls are so cute. The minions are so funny. And I don't think it's so boring to me. Like it's just like, okay. Yeah, well, sure. Like I'll watch it. Like I don't mind watching it, but it's definitely like it it's so like I don't know, plain Jane to me that I'm like, eh, whatever. <sighs> Alright, Kaylin. I hate minions. I'm going to say, I'm going to come out and say it around the show. I have an announcement for everyone. I hate minions. All right. All right. We can All right, Kaylin. I'm going to give, I'm going to start debating you on this right now. Okay. Because I actually agree with you on that. I don't like Despicable Me either. Oh, good. I don't, I don't have like hate for it. I don't mind minions. I think they're kind of cute. I like the little kid, but I saw the movie in the theater and I was just mm-hmm. kind of like, whatever. Mm-hmm. I've never seen the other sequels because I don't care enough about Despicable Me. That's my. I don't really care like I that. I have. Movie. I'm like, but I know, I know. Like, I was thinking of a movie that generally pissed me off, like throughout my life. Oh, please share. So for a while, I was thinking Napoleon Dynamite because that's just like a movie I joke about, mm-hmm. saying like, if you like it, you're mm-hmm. wrong. But I've actually only seen the movie maybe like one and a half times, okay. so I don't think it counted. I don't actually remember it. But then I'm like, okay, well, let me think of a movie when I was, like, younger. And then, so, my answer is Annie. The <laughs> 80s movie. I hate that movie. I've never seen that movie. Why do you hate it? Oh, my God. It's so bad. It's horrible. <laughs> like, it's a movie that, like, I really didn't like as a kid. And I liked the TV movie version a lot better. Mm-hmm. And then I saw the show. I saw Annie, like, live in Philly one time. And then I hated the movie more. Cause it's so, first of all the girl so the girl who played Annie is awful. Mm-hmm. She can't uh-huh. sing. She's really annoying. I hate her. Mm-hmm. And like, so like in musicals, like obviously from like a Broadway musical to like a normal musical, they're gonna change like some stuff and like song arrangements and that kind of shit. Right. So they do that in this movie, and like they like replace songs and like that's fine. I don't mind if you do that. They do it in this movie, but all of their like changes are stupid. <laughs> they're so oh my god like so like you know the song nyc from annie like nyc da, na, 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 na. it's a really good song sure you don't know anything about Annie. i saw i actually saw the re, what was it the, the remake really remake. i haven't seen that I actually, one i heard it's I not good saw that one it's all right but like also not memorable so but so like in the remember. original so in the show there's a song called nyc where daddy warbox is like showing Annie around New York and it's like this really fun song and like you can see like the wonder in the girl's eyes about like seeing this great city mm-hmm. and in the movie they didn't have that song and they're just like it's a song about going to the movies and I'm oh. like hold on you're gonna change like okay so like this grandiose song about New York and like I know like songs about loving New York is like not cool anymore or whatever <laughs> But, like, in the eyes of, like, a little girl who hasn't, like, seen anything and, like, from, like, this man who's grown up in New York and loves it, it's a really nice song about going to the fucking movies. (laughs) (laughs) Like, really? Yeah. I always hated that. Oh, my gosh. And then there's, like, a bunch in, like, in the movie, there's, like, a, like, probably at least, like, it seems like 40 girls in this orphanage. Which, like, I don't get how nobody's noticed that, but then again, it's, like, the Depression era, so I'll forgive it for that, at least. (laughs) That was the Depression. It was a different time. Anyone could do whatever they wanted. And then there's, like, this really dumb thing where... So, okay, so, like, in this show, like, Annie thinks her parents are alive Mm -hmm. throughout it, and they're gonna come get, like, get her, basically. She's got, like, a note and, like, half a lock and blah, blah, blah. And at the end, you find out that the parents actually died. 
Spoiler alert. Right. And then she gets adopted by Daddy Warbucks at the end. Yeah. And it's kind of like a twist at the ending. And in the movie, they're tr- they want to, and like the thing is, like the bad people kind of want to trick them, trick Daddy Warbucks into thinking, like, oh, and Annie into thinking that she that they're Annie's parents. Right. And then, like, get the money, blah, blah, blah and that kind of thing. Mm-hmm. And so they want to, they're, they're asking him again again for help, Brewster and Lily, mm-hmm. to do this. And then in the movie, like, midway through, they reveal, like, oh, yeah, Annie's parents died in the fire. That's, like, midway through the movie. And I'm like, well, okay, well, then I just lost all hope. Thank you. Right, yeah. What, what's he do the rest of the movie? And then there's, like, that whole dumb scene where, like, they get Annie, and it turns out they're, like, kidnapping her. And then, like, Tim Curry is going to try to kill this little kid. And then Miss Hannigan kind of, like, flips on a fucking dime. And then she, like, almost dies because, like, she's hanging off a bridge. And then, like, the manservant, like, Punjab, who's, like, kind of offensive... Is like <laughs> saves her life, and I'm just like, oh my god, what the fuck is this movie? I Wait, hate did you it. Say his name is Punjab. I think it is Punjab. Let me that, look. That is how is that a name? That's like that. That's an ethnicity. I might be. Hold on. I think it is. I'm not 100 percent sure, but I'm gonna look oh it up boy. right now. Uh, no, yes, yeah, Punjab. Oh my. Okay. Sure. My name is Whitey McWhiterson. <laughs> So I hate that movie so much, and it pisses me off. And I know people really like it, but it's really stupid, guys. And like the, you know, it's weird. The wonder, the magic, the wonderful world of Disney remake, the TV remake is much better. Mm-hmm. And I like the cast much better, even though the cast in the '80s movie is quite good. Okay. Like you got, you got Carol Burnett, you got Tim Curry, you got Bernadette Peters. That's a lot of good people. And I mean, the TV movie's got um, a lot of good people in it too. You got a. Uh, what is it? Kathy Bates, Alan Cumming, mm-hmm. Chris and Chenna with Victor Garber, Audrey McDonald. Oh. That's a good cast. Mm-hmm. The TV movie is so much better, even though, like, it looks, it definitely looks fake. But, like, at least mm-hmm. I'm entertained by that movie on, like, the fucking 80s version. I have feelings <laughs> on it. Also, I had this because I was, like, thinking about, like, cracks and stuff. So I watched The Parent Trap, for, like, a mm-hmm. couple days ago. Yeah. And I've got, like, I still like that movie, but I've got problems with it. Like, if you, I could write a whole cracked article on, like, why The Parent Trap is kind of a horrible movie. Like, two articles. <laughs> Parent Trap, like, is, is a cute movie, like, if you just focus on, like, the movie in its the own The fact world, that, like, but... these parents are okay with never seeing one of their children again or, yeah, like, exactly. for 18 years. Yeah, exactly. It's one of those when you think of it in, like, a realistic kind of context, you're like, oh, shit, that's terrible wow like why, how are these people okay with that like oh i'm just mm-hmm. never gonna see one of my children again or at least for 18 years when like they're already mm-hmm. all grown up mm-hmm. so so that's kind of like one thing i like think about it and i just kind of find it funny watching the movie now but then also i was watching it from like like watching all like the themes scenes at camp and then that got me upset because i was picking apart how that's not summer camp right because i've gone to summer camp my entire life basically mm-hmm. And, like, literally you don't have, like, none of these kids have counselors, and they're, like, 11 and 12. <laughs> they would have counselors. You have counselors. Anarchy. And, like, they're all in, like, sep- like cabins, like, with no counselor in them. That doesn't happen. You need to, the only time, that I know, the only time I wasn't in that situation where, like, I didn't have a counselor in my cabin when I went to overnight camp was at Girl Scout camp, because mm-hmm. you had, like, the tents. Right. Which I don't know how they still have that nowadays. Mm. especially after like that incident in oklahoma where like some girls got murdered yikes and like that was like in the 70s and like they kind not that they knew about it but like somebody got a letter i think it was like somebody got a letter like a week before saying like i'm gonna kill some of these kids when they get here and then a week later it happened it happened and uh and i'm like that was in the 70s so i'm kind of surprised like they never changed that at girl scout camps girl scouts are nothing but resilient were you ever a Girl Scout? Nope. Oh, okay. Yeah, so it was in Oklahoma. There was a 8-year-old, a 9-year-old, and a 10-year-old. Oh, man. That's depressing. Yeah. Oh, no. It was two months before the murders, and they were training. They said that they were going to vow to murder three campers, and they thought it was a prank. So, you know. And then I think it's technically still unsolved. Oh, man. And I'm trying to figure... I'm, I'm going to probably... I'm trying to figure out if I can find out how they died. Uh oh, strangulation. That's fun for children. Oh, oh man. So I'm surprised depressing. like I'm surprised like nowadays like you should probably have a counselor in your bunk. Especially mm-hmm. like those tents at Girl Scout camp, like there isn't a lock. 
It's just kind of like a tent, like sheet. Right. Luckily, I was only there for like two weeks, so I know I lived. But every other time, I've like been in a cabin with like a bunch of girls and several counselors. Mm-hmm. And also, like they were always wearing like shirts from like the camp, like kind of like a uniform, which you don't have to wear at camp. The only time right. you, you you get a camp shirt, the only time you have to wear it is like when you go on a trip. Mm-hmm. So it's kind of taking that apart more, and then like after they leave camp and like you know the switching places stuff happens, I'm like, okay, this movie's fine now. <laughs> Although the parents get back together, and I don't think like like do we even know why they like what how they are compatible as like humans? Uh, well, you see, he was a boy and she was a girl. Can I make it any more obvious? Well, because he wasn't a skater boy, and she didn't say. Well, she did say "see you later, boy." But then they they came back around, so it was all good. Yeah. Also, it's kind of funny how they're just like both kind of rich as fuck. Yeah, they each have a ton of money. Like it, they're in both like independently wealthy. What the hell? That's like kind of like a thing of like okay, like well, where would they live afterwards? And I'm like, she could probably do her wedding designing business in America. Yeah. And just like travel a good amount, but like he owns a vineyard, so he's got to stay there. Yeah, he- you can't move a vineyard. That means you're rich, right? If you own a vineyard. Yeah. And yeah. can sustain it for 11 years. That's wild. So those are my feelings. I still like the parent job, though. I It's just one of those movies that I just enjoy watching. Because yeah, I try fun. not to think about it while I'm watching. Because you're just like, yeah. It's kind of like, other, it's like, like, crack kind of ruins it for me. But I kind of like enjoy the way it ruined it for me. Because I can still enjoy it. I'm like, I still like it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. I did have another idea for like a random, like kind of full random episode. We talk just talk about the movies that we saw this summer, but like we can stop this recording and then record something else. <laughs> All right. All right. Do you want to end this randomness of fun let's, stuff let's and not so fun stuff? Podcast. Yes. All right. Do we need to save the stuff? No. If you want to find us, just. Look in the description. We have all. The I'll links put. There. I. I'll, I'll. One of us will put a link to the Star Wars review, so you get our thoughts and can yell at us more for liking uh, the movie. Yeah. Check it out and then comment on it and let us know what we got right and what you didn't like. Um, and let us remember, know. Remember, guys, you know those Phantom Menace like. is still the worst Star Wars movie. We can all agree on that. No, apparently we can't. Apparently, apparently not. But we try. All right. I know I'm right though. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna. All right, I'm gonna. All right, peace. Peace.